Hello everybody, Luke the Duke here for the Playwell Podcast, bringing you a quick Playwell news video about the new releases from New York Toy, Toy Fair 2019. New York Toy Fair was just happening, as you can guess, in New York, and we got some awesome new pictures of some new sets. In images from the officially revealed sets. This week there have been many leaks, but technically because of the legal means which those were found, we cannot share them here. Be sure to follow different accounts on Instagram to find those, and they will be covered on this channel once they're officially revealed. For now, though, we have three main stories which I'm going to cover quickly for the recap so that you guys can learn about this and be on your day. So, first, let's turn on screen sharing so that I can show you some of the pictures. If we go to settings here, we can show you the new pictures for the three different themes which have had revealed pictures. First, starting with Jurassic World is returning. That's right, they're bringing us back some new sets, even though it isn't based on the movies, but rather on their own LEGO miniseries that's going to be released. We have some details about that. You can check the sources in the description to see some more news about that, but for now we're just going to show you some of the new pictures. The storyline is the legend of Isla Nebular, I believe it's Neblar, it's pronounced, something like that. So we've got some new sets. The first set being set 75938, T-Rex versus Dino Mech Battle. 716 pieces, retailing for $89.99 US dollars, available fall 2019. So we can see here it comes with around, I think, four, four to five minifigures. You've got the small dinosaurs, you've got that main mech, T-Rex part of a volcano, a raft, and a, and we got bats, we got figures. It's a cool set. Uh, for $90 for 700 pieces is a bit steep, but of course you have to understand that there are licensing fees and the cost of a large mold for that dinosaur, so that can account for that price. Personal thoughts real quickly. I like the dinosaur mech. I feel they should have rather than have that volcano maybe bulk up the mech even more add some extra detail but there we have these sets will be discussed in a future podcast once we have more cast members just for today this is a quick news video moving on we have the next set which is 75937 triceratops rampage with 447 pieces retailing for 59.99 us dollars available fall 2019 this set is a playset based set we've got the triceratops with of course, which you would expect. We've got pieces of fence, a Jurassic World ride, we've got the gateway, and I believe it comes with four minifigures. Nice set to get a Triceratops, some nice molded pieces, but mm, so-so. I, like, I especially like this little sign here, that's a cool build. So yeah. Next set we have is 75935 Barry Knox face off the treasure hunt. This is 434 pieces. Will be retailing for 59.99 US dollars. Available fall 2019. The dinosaur is a nice original look. I haven't seen something like that in Lego before. I believe the mold has been used before, but not the same design. Really like having a somewhat original design for that. Comes with I believe four mini figures. Nice little RV. The Jeep is standard build, although it's well done. You've got a little play build right there. New dog printing. Overall, very nice. That might even be a new dog mold. I can't tell. It might be the husky mold. I don't know. Anyway, nice set. It's nice to see palm branches in the set. I haven't seen that for a while. So you can see it's quite the large dinosaur. Very cool. Very well done. Then we've got set 75934. Dilophosaurus on the loose. This comes with 168 pieces, retails for $19.99 US dollars, available fall 2019. We've got the small dinosaur here, three other figures. We got Owen, we got this drone kind of build. I really like this stand. The dinosaur mouth, that is really well done. I like having those hats available. Popcorn is always nice. I really like the sign right there. Overall, really nice build i think for 20 bucks that's actually a pretty solid build because you get a nice some nice mini figures and dinosaur and let's see is that all of the sets yep i believe that's it so we've got in total i believe four new sets one two 
three, wait, yeah, four new sets. So that's great. You can check the description of this video to see the links to this web article by the Brothers Brick. Next, we've got a new theme. And this theme is very interesting to me. This is Hidden Side. New sets revealed at New York Toy Fair. This is basically a new augmented reality series where basically you get the app on your phone and it interacts with the set. The set has hidden sides to each set. So it might look like one thing on one side, but then you turn around, you have the whole other side. Really interesting. First set here, the largest, is 70425 High School, 1,474 pieces, retailing for $129.99 US dollars or 119 euros. That's a good price point to get 1,400, almost 1,500 for 130. That's a pretty good price. See the pictures here? We've got the large high school build. Very nice looking build here. I believe it's very well done. You can see the interior has some awesome details. This is very nice. You can see new figures. You can see how things turn around and then it becomes the haunted side. It's kind of a the way that it's like a horror theme. It's not horror obviously, but it's supposed to be spooky. Very nice. I'm sure lots of fans will love this. You can see here this new mold a, you got the hoodie hat combination, you've got the hoodie hair combination, two new molds, very nice. I can't wait to see the hoodie hat combo in different colors. Overall, very nice. Next set we have is 70424 train, 60, uh, 698 pieces, retailing for a whopping $89.99 US dollars. Right here we've got this set. It is a train and I believe a train station. We don't have the greatest picture. This is probably the best picture here. You've got the train on its sides. It looks like it comes with five minifigures. Train station, piece of train track. Uh, it's a little bit expensive to get 700 pieces for $90, but I suppose it's probably going to sell well. I like the minifigures, the new prints and whatnot are very well done. Very nice. Moving on to the next set. Also, before, some new molds. Very nice beard mold, hair mold. Lots of new stuff. Then we've got 70423 bus. 689 pieces retailing for $59.99 US dollars. So that's a pretty good price point. Almost 700 pieces for $60. Right here, it is a haunted school bus. As you can see right here, it comes with what looks like five minifigures. And as you can tell with all these sets, you just flip something around and then the set completely changes to the haunted variation. Also a nice thing is each figure who gets haunted has replaceable headpieces so that they can be in their normal state. Very well done. Also there is a haunted porta body. Just let that sink in. Okay, moving on, we have 70422 Diner, 598 pieces retailing for 49.99 US dollars. This is, as you can see, a small diner here. We've got the sign. Looks like it comes with three, like about five, four or five figures. It's got the car. It's pretty nice. I like the build. I really like the sign build. It's nice to get a diner. We haven't gotten a diner in forever. Some of the prints are very nice. They may be stickers, but still very nice selection. Very good minifigures. That is awesome to get the four-armed possessed diner cook. Very, very well printed. Very nice looking. Then we've got 70421 truck, 428 pieces, retailing for $39.99 US dollars. It's a big monster truck chasing a motorcycle with ghosts and I think it's very well built for a truck that size its price to piece ratio is pretty good overall it's pretty great that wing piece on that ghost is also very nice can be very useful then we've got four or excuse me 704 
twenty graveyard, three hundred and thirty five pieces retailing for twenty nine ninety nine. It's a small graveyard build. It comes with three figures, possessed tree, a couple of graves that open up the gateway, statues, things like that. Very nice build. Comes with both of the main characters of the series. And a very well-printed ghost. If any, I would get personally, I would get this one. It looks very nice. I like many of the pieces. Overall, very nice that you can interact with this. As I, as I said before, this is all augmented reality sets. So everything will interact with the app so that it can direct you to solve the mystery that's going on. Next is 704.19 Boat, 310 pieces, retailing for 29 excuse me, sorry, $29.99. Dollars. This haunted boat right here. Very cool because the boat build is fairly decent. It's a pretty good build. We've got the little docks right here. And we've got that albino alligator mold. That is very cool reprint of the alligator mold. Very nice to have. Got some good sailor figures. Really like that guy's hat. Very good. Next we have 70418 Lab. 174 pieces, 19 US dollars. And we've got here, it's like a little mad scientist lab. You've got that mad scientist there, that person. Actually, the mad scientist here, someone who was tested. <laughs> Pizza Plate, one of the main characters. Nice set. It'll be retailing for, like I said, $19, so that's a pretty good deal. Go well with the other sets. So that's all of them. It's a new theme, augmented reality. And if this does well, we could see in the future other themes that aren't necessarily horror-based, so that would be cool to see other themes return. Maybe a space augmented reality theme or mystery theme or something like that. Or Scooby-Doo might come back with that. That would be very cool. And for our last story of the day, we have the New York Toy Fair images for Star Wars sets. This accidentally got leaked the other day officially by Amazon. This is a $20 set, Ray versus Kylo. A lot of people have mixed opinions on this set. It splits open. It's a good set for s the figures, but not really the best price-wise. Let's see if we can... Okay, that's already stuff we covered previously. However, we can select here. We've got... This is the Action Attack Battle of Endor. Comes with too many figures. Retailing for either 20 or $30. Unfortunately, this article does not contain all of the information like the other two articles. New Scout Trooper, new head mold, very nice. Overall, this is that meant for kids, and I'm sure kids would enjoy it, but personally, not going to be enjoying it. We've already discussed this set. This is the action defense, or action attack, I can't remember which one this is. Uh, Hoth generator set. You've got the mini generator, Hoth Trooper, Snow Trooper, the two cannons, like a 30 or $40 set, can't remember. Nice set. Good for kids, not for collectors. This is... Oh, excuse me, sorry. This is the one set I might get. This is for, I believe, $70, which is overpriced for the 490 something piece price point. So I'll have to wait for this to go on sale. It is Von Reg's TIE Interceptor. Comes with Von Reg, uh, Kaz from Stars Resistance, Leia, and Bucket. All of these new figures, all of them nice figures. I really like this as a display model. I hope it goes on sale. That's when I will be getting it. This is Action Attack Hoth, or Action Defense Hoth. I can't remember, sorry. Got five mini figures, Probe Droid, mini at, -AT mini blast doors, cannons, gun batteries. Like I said, if I, let's say I was a kid who's seven to ten years old, I'd love this set. Really cool. I'm glad they're doing this. I know a lot of people don't like these, but personally, I like these. I think they're a cool idea. Then we've got the Black Ace. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me select this, if it will allow me to. We've got the Black Ace. This comes with... Oh my gosh. Something is being finicky. There we go, the Black Ace. It comes with Poe and the Pilot. I can't remember the Pilot's name, MBB-8. It's a $40 set. I believe even 40 or 50, even though it comes with only around 300 pieces. Personally, this set is a disappointment. I expected it to be around $80 and a much bigger set based on how the, it is in the show. Disappointing, but still, overall, a nice model. Just, I wish they had made it the correct size. 
Uh, these sets we've already discussed. So I believe that is it. I don't think there are any other sets. So yeah, obviously this will come alongside these sets, which we already discussed in the last podcast. So all in all, it's, I think it's a decent wave. For minifigures, it's a fantastic wave, and I can't wait to get some of those off of Bricklink. So that has been it for this today. That is all we have to share for official news that we are allowed to share. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to hear our thoughts on this. We'll have a discussion on these new images pretty soon here. And we'll be discussing other new leaks when they get officially revealed. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Join my Discord. On my Discord, I have pictures of all the new leaked sets that I can't unfortunately I unfortunately cannot share here. Link in the description. Also, perfect time to shout out our two sponsors. We've got Republic Bricks, one of the best places to get good condition Star Wars minifigs. You can also get other minifigs from other themes. I personally buy from him all the time. He's got awesome figures. Be sure to check out him. His site is about to reopen online. He's got some awesome figures for that and some awesome stuff on Instagram. We've also got AV Figures, the number one place to go for decals and custom clones. He sells awesome new decals. Just released a bunch more. He just released what Lego credit. He released the 501st Battle Pack. It comes with 501st Speeder and three 501st printed figures really awesome set check it out i would definitely recommend it some awesome other sets and figures printed figures decal figures decal packs resin casts anything you can imagine to make the perfect clone army he's got it be sure to check out the link in the description and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content we will be releasing more podcasts and news videos like this when new news gets revealed and we'll be posting on our instagram some new pictures of some new sets and whatnot Thank you for watching this quick news video. I'm glad you could make it. Have a great rest of your day, and have a great day mocking.